we talk about the importance of communication, um, verbal communication is, is probably one of the most important. And I was thinking earlier today about the ability to speak different languages, even a small amount of other languages, even saying hello, goodbye, how are you, things like that. It can make a huge difference uh, in how people perceive you and, and how people like you. Our language is, is a huge part of our culture and our culture is, is, is a huge part of our identity. So if you make an effort to speak someone else's language, especially if that language is not commonly spoken by people from your background. Like for example me, I'm from Britain. It's, it's very well known that uh, British people, I'm generalizing here, but it's very well known that British people, we don't make that much of an effort to speak other languages because so many sp people speak English, want to speak English. But if you show people that you've made an effort to speak their language, it can make a huge difference. I'll give you a simple example. Back when I used to work for Cypress Semiconductors, there was a, a Chinese doctor there and he'd been in the design center for quite some time and uh, I never spoke any, anything other than English to him, but I've always had an interest in Chinese, especially Mandarin. And I'd, I'd bought myself a little phrase book and I was trying to you know, figure out how to, how to make it work and how am I gonna practice this? And so it came to when he was leaving uh, to, go, to go to the US and uh, people circulated a card to say goodbye and I thought to myself you know what I'm gonna write something in Chinese back then there was no Google Translate there was no um, internet sites where you could find out you know how to, to translate one language to another language so I took this book and I, I spent about three hours I remember trying to figure out which of the pictograms that I should put together to say what I wanted to say to him and I remember when we all got together to, to give him the card and, and the gift and when he opened the card he was shocked. He, he looked at, the, at, the, at what I'd written in Chinese. I'd written it in Chinese. And, um, and then he looked up at me and he said, wow, how did you do that? It's like nobody else's message mattered at that point. Just what I'd written, because I'd written it in his language. And I guess that's something, you know, he'll never forget. Uh, I certainly won't, because it made me feel amazing. Another observation here in Kuwait, um, you know, I've made a, and I'm still making a huge effort to try and learn Arabic trying to make the pronunciation correct to try and be able to speak uh, with the correct grammar it's, it's a challenging language uh, but when you go in and you speak to people Arabic people if they've never met you before um, you speak with the correct accent in the correct way it means a lot to people uh, Indonesian as well obviously my wife's Indonesian so I've learned to speak uh, to speak that and when you speak to people in Indonesia like so when I meet someone an Indonesian person I've never met before they look at me and they don't uh, they obviously assume I don't speak their language but I'll say to them are you Indonesian and then they'll say to me, yes, yes, I'm Indonesian. Then I'll start, I'll, I'll usually start by saying, oh, my wife's from Indonesia, I'll speak to them in Indonesian. And immediately you feel the resonance. So it's not me, it's the language. It's, it's the language that, that, that's the key. So my advice to everyone is learn a few words in another language because you never know when it's going to be useful. I used to uh, work here in Kuwait on a number of rigs, oil rigs, Sinopec rigs, where they had uh, Chinese crew. You know, and I used to say to them, uh, ni hao ma. Or I'd say how would you like? How would you like? It means excellent. I think I'm saying that right. And uh, it, it made a big difference. You know, they'd all start prodding and poking each other, and, and then they'd respond to me, and I wouldn't understand what they were saying. But it was great fun. So that's my advice for today. Uh, learn a few phrases in other people's languages. You never know when it's going to be useful. And even even if you know a person from a particular place, maybe it's Nigeria, maybe it's Aruba or something like that. The language. You can, you can go to Google, you can find it. I mean, I, I know people here from Armenia, for example. And sometimes when I send, send them emails, I, I use Google Translate to translate the email into Armenian and send it to them. And I remember one person said to me, they responded to my email saying, you made me feel like I was at home. You made me feel really happy. So these little things mean a lot to people. You know, what better thing can you do than make, make someone feel, uh, you know, good for the day? They'll remember you for it. I hope that was helpful.